Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. Today's video will be part two of, of a multi-part series around some of the most common code interview questions I've received during the interview process with large companies like Apple to smaller startup tech companies. We will be focusing on C-sharp for our language today, but we'll be adding more languages as the series continues its run. We will be writing our code within CoderPad as that appears to be a very popular tool used within many of these interview processes. Today's code interview question is, reverse these words. Before we get started, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below as we upload lots of testing related videos each week on a wide range of topics from integrating AI into testing to setting up automation frameworks in multiple languages. With that out of the way, let's get into answering our question. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable. So we'll do var reverse text equals then we'll call a method that we're going to create down below and we'll call that reverse words and we'll pass in our string that we want to reverse the words in. So we'll do hello comma world. Below that we'll do a console dot write line and we'll pass in our variable reverse text. And then at the top here we're going to add a using statement system dot collections. And this will be for our stack. Down below we're going to actually create that method for reverse words. So we'll do public static string, call it reverse words. We'll pass in a string called s. Inside that method, we'll do a string result equals empty space. Then we'll do a stack temp equals new stack. Then we'll do s equals s dot trim. The next piece we'll focus on removing extra white spaces. We'll do a while s dot contains. Do s equals s dot replace an empty space with no empty space, so we'll remove the white space. Next we'll focus on storing each word on the stack. So we'll do a for each string x in s dot split. Inside there we'll pass the space. We'll do temp dot push x. Next we'll do adding each word to a result, string in reverse. So we'll do a while temp dot count is not equal to zero. Result plus then or equal to temp dot pop. plus empty string. Then we'll simply return result.trim. Oh, before we run this, we want to fix these spaces. We need to add a space into all these empty strings here. And then we can simply hit run. And as you can see, the string is now reversed, so it says world hello. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching our code interview questions video on reverse words. If you are not already a subscriber to our channel but enjoy the content, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below as we upload lots of testing related videos each week on a wide range of topics from integrating AI into testing to setting up automation frameworks in multiple languages. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.